Now, the designer drug ecstasy is illegal, but it still circulates on the nightclub scene. But now kids are buying herbal versions of these drugs legally. But they may be proving to be just as dangerous. Diane Diamond reports on these over-the-counter killers. It seems as if you're stepping back in time to the 1960s when psychedelic drugs were all the rage. Today, many young people are again turning to things called magic mushrooms, cloud nine, buzz tabs. But these products are not chemical, they're herbal, and they're legal. The main stimulating ingredient in these is ephedrine, and the FDA now warns of 17 ephedrine-related deaths. It's a form of speed, basically, in a natural form can create high blood pressure, arrhythmias, heart problems, can cause chronic fatigue syndrome. Dr. Richard D'Andrea is an MD who also practices herbal medicine. And as he studies several different brands of these new herbal drugs, he offers up his opinion. All the same ingredients, just the same old crap. Already two states, New York and Florida, have banned the sale of these so-called herbal drugs with ephedra, and 21 other states have begun to regulate them. But forbidden fruit is popular. Even though these packets can cost up to $30, folks are snapping them up for the tingly effect they get. It's not addictive or anything like that. It's just, it's just, it's real fun. Everything's real sensual. Everything feels good, smells good, tastes good. That kind of endorsement is music to this man's ears. He's developed one of the most popular lines of herbal drugs, and at the age of just 21, he's already reported to be a millionaire. His products promise to soothe to stimulate or to be very sexually arousing. What's wrong with feeling good? Well, nothing, but critics say products like these may be addicting, and they're worried that this fancy eye-catching packaging is attracting far too young a crowd. We don't use cartoons like Joe Camel to, to market towards kids. First thing, I think our products are generally too expensive for kids. Secondly, I think that if they can afford to buy our products, they can afford to buy real drugs. But we're trying to do something good, and we're trying to offer people an alternative. An alternative, says Shayan, to street drugs that every year claim the lives of countless young people. But still, many in the medical profession say, beware. It's not going to be harmless. Everything has a natural balance in life. This isn't about balance. This is about getting an effect, marketing, and making money.